I thought uh, Bree Holmes come out early, was very aggressive, looking to score, which got us going. You know, I thought defense in the first half, I was asked by our radio people after the game, we come out like, no, we, we played probably the best defense that we have in the first half for a long time. And I thought Asia Bussy was the key. I mean, they kept picking, 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 and Asia kept sagging off and helping our guards over top that pick. So I, I didn't think we, we just wasn't hitting shots. They were sagging. And we weren't hitting over top. And, and, and then our turnovers, I'd say a, a half our turnovers was because we're trying to force it inside. If they're sagging, you know, our team, I tell them and tell them and tell them, we got to reverse the ball, move the ball, spread the defense out, go side to side. And then all of a sudden, you got some alleys to the post. But when you just try to come down one or two passes, throw it in the paint, that's what happens. You have a bunch of turnovers. So those things we got to get corrected. But overall, I was pleased. We didn't shoot, you know, we didn't shoot well. But, uh, I thought effort-wise, defensive-wise, for the most part, we did a pretty good job. Any questions? I Let me just say this. You know, we got a big game Sunday against Baylor. Win or lose that game, I hope we have a great crowd here for these seniors. What is it, on Tuesday? You know, I, I, these seniors deserve a lot of a, a, a lot of credit for our success for the last three or four years, and hopefully, we can have a great crowd here to send them out the right way. Because this is the last time our fans will be having an opportunity to see them here at West Virginia playing. So hopefully, we can have a great crowd and and, and a lot of enthusiasm in here, and we can have a lot of fun that last game. Get the sense. I mean, none of the players were happy with the way the last Baylor game went. No. I think so. I think so. You know, I, I, I think, uh, you know, it's down to two, uh, two game season now. It's down to a two game season. You know, needless to say, you'd like to have that game at home. Well, we had them at home and they beat us. So now we got to beat them on their home court. So we're going to go down there. We have nothing to lose. Go, go down there, be aggressive. At first 12 minutes, we just got to attack, 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 defend, and play as hard as we can and see where we're at. If you can get it close going towards the end of the game, anything could happen. That's where we want to be. We want it close at the end of the game. And we've done a pretty good job this year in close games at the end of the game. So I like our chances if it's close going down the stretch. You did better to see Bria uh, tonight after a tough one at Kansas State kind of bouncing back. Yeah, it's just mental. Yeah. It's just coming out being aggressive, mental, you know. A lot of our girls, if they miss a couple shots and they get down on themselves and all that, we got to forget that. You know, I thought Bria come out instead of, especially early, started attacking the rim and got to the foul line. And I thought that one play, there was two girls going after the ball, and here comes Bria from the side and just outran them all. And the time those two girls looked up, she already had a layup. So I thought, that, you know, she showed a great athletic ability there. So. You know, but I thought the key on defense, our girls did a good job for the most part going over top. They set a ton of picks, a ton of picks, and then Asia Bussey's right back there helping. So Asia was a key, I thought, defensively for us. Speaking of Asia, I know you say this though, you never want to see the player kind of suffer the, the type of injury that she did last season. But now when you look at the makeup of this team and, and the juniors becoming seniors and Bria maturing as a sophomore, Blessing in disguise almost with, with uh, having Asia this season. Uh, well, yeah, I'd like to have Asia 10 more seasons. I mean, I'd, <laughs> hell, I, if I could, you know, maybe our last game of the year sometime, we'll act like she's hurt again and try to get another year. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Asia Bussey's a special player, a uh, special person. And, uh, you know, I, everybody felt so bad for her last year because it was her senior year. And for her to have a year and to be so productive this year, you know, it's great for her that we're having a good year for her. You know, it's worth coming back for, put it that way. And is she different as a player versus what she was two years ago? You're talking so much about her defenses no. and the unselfishness that you mentioned. No, so I've said that. since the freshman year, she's one of the best defensive players. Now, it's not as far as blocking shots and lift and that. It's laterally and talking, communicating, and being in position and box outs and that. I've said since her freshman year, she's one of the best I've ever seen. And she continues to do that. Did last season change her, though, at all? And especially as this senior year has progressed, though, uh, I don't know. Did it change her? Yeah. When she came back, was she exactly the same? Well, she's motivated, yeah. I mean, she, you know, she, a, Asia loves to play, and Asia loves to win. And, uh, again, she's been our captain, I think, for three years, and, and that's for a reason because she's such a leader. So, you know, 
No, I, I tell you what, I like to have ten players like Asia Bussy because you, it's just not only on the floor but off the floor. She's so mature and such a leader. It, it, it's a pleasure to have her. On the offensive end, she commanded a lot of attention. That opened up a yeah. lot of stuff for Avery. Well, and that's what happens. And and then our guards, you know. They're so unselfish. They try to. That's why you have a bunch of turnovers. They try to put force it in there to her. A a Avery's going to be. They're all going to be open on the perimeter because they're they're paying so much attention to uh, Asia. But we weren't hitting over top. Now if we could have hit over top of that, then they have to spread a little bit, and then Asia could have went to work. But we just never got it going over top. That's why it was so important to us to get the rebound and push the break and get so many breakaways and that type of stuff for their defense set up. You didn't get a lot of those fast break opportunities in the first half. It seems like you wore them down. Got yeah. a lot more chances in the second half. Yeah, yeah, and they start shooting a lot more jumpers and long rebounds, and we get it, and we had some runouts. But uh, you know, and that's what we had to do because we weren't we were, weren't really executing very well in the half court tonight because we weren't hitting shots, and when you and then we had turnovers and that type of stuff. So. You know, so the ra you know, I hate to keep bringing up the radio. Jesus, they they act like we lost, but uh, you know, they brought up all the turnovers and not very good and all that. But you know, anytime you can play, you know, the way we did and still win by uh, what was it, 32? I mean, that, that's pretty good. This team just lost by one point at Oklahoma uh, against Oklahoma State and should have won. Oklahoma State scored with 1.1 second to beat them. So. You know, I just thought defensively we did a good job. Offensively, just we weren't clicking tonight. We just wasn't clicking. So when you look at this film, a lot of teaching points or just make shots? No, it's great to have this film. It's great. No, no, it's great to have this film because, worst, I, I, in my opinion, worst thing we could have done was come out and just played great. And then we start feeling good about ourselves, and that. Now, now they realize, hey, we better pick it up. I heard them in there afterwards. Hey, we got we can't play like this against Baylor. We can't play like probably that's the best thing that could happen. Anything else for coach? Your teams have played pretty well at the Federal Coliseum there in Lincoln. It's always a great atmosphere. I think your players really think it pumped up. Yeah. You know, I think I, honestly, I think that if you saw our game here, and I've watched some other tape on them. They tried to they tried to knock you out that first eight minutes, and, and, and if you whoever was here here remember they went up 15 on us and then they ended up beating us by 15. I, I think the key there is man we we got to come out just in attack mode defensively offensively and, and stay with them that first eight 12 minutes and then get them thinking about it. And like I said, the longer we can stay with them, we, we get down under that four minutes, anything can happen.